Well, hello. This video is going to show you how to use the new improved boundaries feature using boundaries to create headlands in firmware version 13.4 or higher. To begin, we're going to go ahead and open a field. For this example, we're going to start with a new field that does not have any guidance lines or boundaries in it already. So starting from scratch, a few ways you can make this happen. We're going to start with the recording of a boundary and from that we will create a headland. You can also go in here and actually tap on specialty guidance and create a headland. It's going to tell you that first you need to create a boundary. Um, so we can do this either way. We can make the boundary and then create headlands from that. If we go right to headlands, it's going to force us to create that boundary first and foremost. So to keep this simple, we're going to minimize the headland option and just leave the boundary up there. Now at the same time that we're recording a boundary, we can also use guidance lines and auto steer to those guidance lines. So for example, if you had a straight edge side of the field or a, a perfect square or even some angles in there obviously, or even if you wanted to use an uh, identical curve guidance line, you could use those guidance lines while you're recording your boundary. For this example, I'm gonna create a couple new guidance lines. So I'm gonna create an A plus that's what I'm gonna start recording on. So I'm gonna go ahead and engage my steering. Um, we're gonna start driving here. On the boundary, I'm gonna tap on the record button. Notice these three options, record on the left, record in the center, or record on the right. I'm driving in a left-hand circle here around my field, and so I'm gonna record the right side of my implement. So as we engage on that straight A plus line that I just created, let me zoom out. You'll see our boundary starting to be drawn via that dashed line there. So now that we have the first side of our triangular shaped field completed here, it's recorded the boundary. I'm going to disengage the steering. And while I'm doing this, I'm actually going to go in and create another guidance line. Once again, this field was brand new, no guidance lines within that. And I'm gonna do another A plus line so that I can just go ahead and steer straight along the second side of my boundary. So here's the creation of that new line. I'm gonna engage on that. And once again, we're still recording the boundary. Now you can see Right where I started, there is a really nice indicator, that white circle showing where I started my boundary. That's an auto-close boundary or auto-close radius for the boundary creation tool. When my implement reaches and crosses that outside of that circle's line, that boundary will snap closed. Now I can also use the traditional method of just hitting the stop record button. That'll complete the same task. That radius of that circle is editable, so you can change how large that radius of the circle is. And we'll show you that here in a minute when we're done recording. So two of the three sides are completed now. As soon as I enter that circle, my boundary will snap closed. And there it is. So there's my boundary, as simple as that. Now, for instance, if I did want to change the radius of that circle to snap it closed, up here in the guidance editor, there's this gear icon. If I tap on that, it gives me a bunch of options to turn on and off to those different guidance options. So we can turn those off. If we scroll down, we'll see auto close boundary. We can turn that circle on or off to auto close the boundary. Additionally, we can change the auto close distance. Right now I have it set at 25 feet. If you need it larger or smaller than that for some reason, you can very easily edit that before you start recording your boundary. That's gonna wrap it up for creating a simple boundary. The next video is going to show headland creation from the simple boundary.